the general message of my songs, I guess, is just happiness. Most of them have happy endings, and uh, uh, I don't write protesty things. If they protest at all, it's very subtle, and they're sort of the message comes out like "Don't do this" or or "Try not to be that way," but it's still through happiness, so that it doesn't stand up there and sort of preach at people. As a matter of fact, while I was here, or while I was in Toronto uh, the last time, I, I got a bad review, and, and what the review amounted to, I think, was uh, that I was too happy, and uh, he criticized it for lack of depth. It was sort of like everything was happy, you know. He said, I wasn't saccharine, but I was a little hearts and flowery. That's what he said. Um, mind you, I should say now, too, that I had two excellent reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Plus this one that wasn't so good. And uh, so he, he criticized me for being happy, and and that's what I think my songs are. I can't explain it any more than that. They're just, um, even the sad songs are, aren't depressing. Well, I started out um, in folk music, of course, doing traditional ballads, which were these long English things about Lady So-and-So's mm -hmm. husband killed her while her lover was standing at the foot of the bed and things, and House of the Rising Sun about a girl who's been led astray, and I think maybe that's why my songs are all happy, because in the beginning they were all so dreary. <laughs> they were beautiful, but they were, you know, they were just very miserable songs. <laughs>